What's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Guys, check this out. The College of Hooker Knowledge. It finally happened to one of my subscribers. He went down to the legal red light district in Tijuana, Mexico, called Zona Norte. This is the legal red light district where prostitution is legal. He got his ass rolled. $10,000 in fraudulent credit card charges. Thousands of fraudulent withdrawals from his ATM card. Guys, it caused him a lot of stress. He woke up in a different hotel. He didn't know where he was at. His memory was foggy. He doesn't know what happened. Guys, I'm going to make this video right now. I'm going to tell you what happened to him and how you can avoid this shit happening to you. Guys, Tijuana's fun. I lived in Tijuana for 17 years. Something like this only happened to me one time. I've got 12,000 subscribers on YouTube and over a million views. And this has only happened to two or three guys, okay? So I'm going to tell you how to prevent this shit from happening right now. Guys, let's jump right into it. The first mistake this guy made was when he went into the bar, he went to the VIP section. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not trying to sound like an ass. And this is probably my fault because I don't school you guys up on what not to do. I always tell you what to do. Okay. Let me tell you what not to do in this video. And this is going to protect you. Number one, don't be going to no VIP room. Okay. You're going to waste a shit ton of money there and you're going to wind up drinking beer champagne, liquor, you're going to cross mix it. You're going to waste a lot of money. They're going to give you free shots too. And you're going to wind up getting shit face drunk and you're going to make some bad decisions. Okay. You don't have any business going to the VIP room. Number two guys, if you're going to drink, which I do not recommend for you newbies, first two or three times you go to Tijuana, don't take this the wrong way. You don't have the right to drink. Okay. Not until you prove some maturity and some good judgment. Are you going to get your ass in trouble trying to protect you? Guys, if you do drink, take your drinks with you. This is not the United States. You can't go in a place with five or $600 in cash, okay, and start drinking, get up and go to the bathroom. This subscriber suspects they put something in his drink, okay? Now, I just said something I want you to pay close attention to. Cash. Guys, take your cash. Don't take your credit cards to Tijuana, Mexico. Don't take your ATM card to Mexico. I take mine, but I live there. I've got experience. I've got control. Okay. A lot of times a credit card transaction will throw a fraud alert in Mexico anyway, and it's going to be useless. Okay. It's way more of a cash society, especially in that legal prostitution zone. Number two, if you do use an ATM card, I recommend the ATM machine at the Chicago club. It throws us dollars. I've never had a problem there. I've used that ATM machine several times. Chicago is within walking distance from Adelita Bar and the Hong Kong Club. It's completely safe. I've never had a problem. So if you got to use your ATM card, use it at the Chicago Club. But for newbies, you're taking cash. You're not drinking. And if you are drinking, you're taking your shit with you when you go to the bathroom. Okay, guys? Stay out of the VIP rooms. Stay out of the private dances. You're going to wind up spending more money drinking with these girls, talking with these girls in the VIP, then if you just took two of them upstairs, blew out their backs, smash and dash, hit it and quit it, down the road, find the next set of women, okay? All right, guys. So basically what happened to this guy, he goes to the VIP room, he starts drinking, he goes to the bathroom, he thinks they put something in his drink, he's not sure, he wakes up in a different hotel, his cards are gone, his cash is gone, he's completely screwed, and luckily he did get the card credit card transactions refunded. Okay. Not sure about the ATM. And of course his cash money's gone forever. Now he didn't have a great time with these two girls. He does remember some of that. Okay. So obviously they did something right. And a matter of fact, he wants to come back to Tijuana, Mexico, but I'm telling you guys right now, Tijuana can be fun, but it can be a dangerous place if you let it get out of control and don't take this the wrong way guys, but it's always the smart guys that get in trouble in my videos. Okay. It's always the lawyers, the doctors, the software engineers, okay, the CPAs. It's those guys that go down there and get their ass in a jam. I think they're more trusty, right? The welders, the mechanics, the oil-filled workers, the truck drivers, we seem to not have any problems down there, okay? So that's what happened. Again, I'm going to recap this, guys. To avoid getting your ass in trouble in Mexico, you're going to walk across the border, get in a cab, go straight to the Adelita Bar or the Hong Kong Club. Do not walk to save money. You will get your ass rolled. 
when you get there, spend the cash that you brought. Do not break out your cards, okay? Stay out of the VIP. Stay away from the private dances. The cheapest and the best way to go there is go there, walk up to the hottest girl you see, give her $100 bills, take her upstairs, blow her back out, and leave in a taxi back to the United States. That's the cheapest way to do this shit, guys. If you drink, which I don't recommend if you're new, I know a lot of you see me dog drunk down there, okay? Well, I've earned the right to do that. I've been down there 17 years. I've, I've made probably better decisions drunk than you guys make sober. But the thing is, take your drink with you. Know that they can put something in it. Don't mix alcohol, guys. Remember, liquor than beer, you're in the clear. Beer than liquor, never been sicker, okay? I learned that shit my first year in college. All right, guys, smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. Guys, to recap, I will be going live tonight. Um, I do have a little update and a special video to show you guys from Miss Venezuela. For the guys of you who don't know about Miss Venezuela, she's a hooker from Venezuela, and she's working in Tijuana, Mexico right now. She does a few interviews on our channel. You know, we've helped her out with a fundraiser here and there, and she's given us some great video content. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to say. I'm not going to keep you any longer. Smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't already done it. I'll see you live in about 45 minutes. Peace.